What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, we finally made it to the data center at the Far Zenith facility and learned that, unfortunately, the Gaia backup that they had obtained was, in fact, a bootleg and thus was not, were not able to use it. So, in uh, returning to Meridian, we were stopped and found out a whole myriad of things along the way, like silence telling us that we need to head into an area known as the Forbidden West to obtain more information about the blight that is ravaging the land. We also got to catch up with some of our friends from the first game, and now all we need to do is talk to Murad and get this show on the road. Let's do it. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. So 
Axe to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop, which was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis, that's Aloy. Studious Wadis? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll? Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley, then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron, and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. 
Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Okay, so we've got a few things that are immediately apparent to us. And uh, the first thing I want to draw to your attention is the map. This is the intro area. That's right. The tutorial was not the intro area. This is the intro area. We're, we're, we'll just maintain our focus on this for now. So we got Chain Scrape over here and then Baron Light, which is the ultimate goal for this area with a lot of things in between. We got campfires, the usual stuff that you'd find in Zero Dawn. These are typically save points. You've got sites with different critters like burrowers, fire fanghorns. You got chargers over here. Um, as well as other things that you can get. We're going to be starting some quests once we get to Chain Scrape as well. There's also, we got to find Errand over there and to the brink. And a whole myriad of other things that await us. So why don't we set out? We're going to head to this campfire first things first. So we're going to actually go to Chain Scrape immediately. That's the first thing on our docket. We're, there's still a lot in this area we're going to want to check out, but we'll kind of loop back to it a little bit later. I'm just going to start by getting our first proper save in there. And once you are at a campfire, you can fast travel between, uh, between it and another campfire for free. However... These uh, fast travel packs that we got down here that we have two of at the moment, these can be used at any time in any place. However, they are consumable, but they will take you to any campfire for free. They just cost shards to buy, and you can only get them th by that means or through quests. Of course, another mechanic that is also in this game that was in the first is hunting. There are critters around here, like boars and the like, and you're going to want to shoot these things to get some of their resources. So, real quick... I'm going to take this thing out really fast without alerting too much of these burrowers. Or I guess I can alert the burrowers, but that's okay because I am going to grab myself some meat and then an eastern beast rib. And then we are going to move on out of here while I craft some arrows on the run. Because I really don't want to actually fight some of these burrowers right now. So we got a few more of these things. And if you hit, hit them in the face, it does a little extra damage. Jeez, gosh dang it, they're still attacking me. Okay, hold on a second. Take care of these guys. Drop some ice on them. There we go. And that should do some extra damage. Woo! Here, let's take these guys out. One at a time. You don't want to hit them in anything but the canister on the back if you can land it. I really don't want to be fighting these things right now. But it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. I don't know why I shot that extra shot. Sup? Okay. It looks like you're the last one. He's going to fire a rock at me. Thought I had it in the eye there. There we go. Get that hit. There we go. That's some distance. All right. Got her. Now let's heal up. And search these burrowers. Okay, where did I leave that boar that I killed? It was around here somewhere. I want to see. There it is right there. I wanted to get a boar bone off of that, which is going to be useful for crafting a little bit later. All right. On our way to Chain Scrape. And like I said, there's a lot to get along the way a lot of things that we can do as we navigate the world this is just kind of a taster before we get into the real meat of things and i know i know i get it we're only in episode what is this six five six and i mean it's our there's going to be a whole lot more and i am going to kill this little critter here because that's going to get me some extra meat sometimes those can yield things like bones as well so we are now full on Ridgewood, so we should be good for a while. Let's craft some of these. That's it for our chill water for the time being, which I guess is fine. Although, I should be able to get more from our stash a little bit later. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Yeah, that is the plan. So let's head on over this way. And we're going to go inside, but we're not going to be able to do much more beyond that as we call this an episode. 
But uh, there's a lot going on in this place. And I mean, check this out. Oh my gosh, this game. I'm not going to spend too much time dwelling on the visuals. Because I do feel like it is pretty self-explanatory. But uh, just be aware. People gush about this game's visuals a lot. And I don't want to do any more than they do. Because I don't think visuals are the only amazing thing about this game. Like some people act like it is. But yeah, it is a pretty game. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jar of Sorters. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh... About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our prop. The bristlebacks are everybody's prop. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Now this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Yes, we do. And Petra, if you remember, was actually one of the best side characters that we ran into back in the first game. Although she was such a minor side character that really did not get enough screen time in that game. And luckily we got a little bit more of her this time around. So let's use the workbench really quick. We're going to get ourselves a little weapon upgrade. So let's do that to our bow. We're going to want to move this up to level one, which is going to allow us to craft acid arrows, which again, we're going to need for the bristlebacks. Of course, we can upgrade this thing again since we do have enough in the way of upgrades. And it looks like we can actually even do a third upgrade to make this thing at its absolute best, the most possible damage that we can get out of this bow. Tear damage, acid damage, all that good stuff. Uh, we can technically upgrade our frost blastling as well which I am going to do, just to get a little bit more out of it. Get a little extra frost damage is always nice. So you got the Bristleback Circulator. Might as well do that as well, and that's why all these components are important, because we can get these off of the critters that we kill. There's also pouch upgrades we can get, which we can get an upgrade to our Bomb Satchel. That is why we collected that bone, boar bone earlier. We also obviously want to get Hunter Arrow Quivers, which you get from Raccoon Hides, Trap Pouches from Squirrel Bones, and then Potion Pouch from Squirrel Hides, and then you got Resource Pouches from Boar Hides. We're going to want to kill a lot more boars to be able to upgrade that. There's also our armor, so let's upgrade that with what little metal shards we have left, just to take a little bit more impact, uh, or get a little bit more impact defense out of that and the last thing we i guess we could craft some blast traps but that's not necessarily an upgrade of any sort so i'm just not gonna even worry about that all right ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it for this episode of let's play horizon forbidden west i hope you all enjoyed it very very much there's a lot to explain about this game and then in the next episode we're going to go over many of those things talk about side quests take care of various things here in chain scrape go over the many many things that are have been brought to our attention now that we have made it here but uh yeah that's gonna have to wait we're gonna be in this for the long haul there's just so much like i said this is the intro area guys i ain't even gonna show you the full extent of this map just yet you can wait but uh for now just know 
things are going to get really, really crazy here. So uh, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.